Hello there, YouTube, and with it, most of the civilized world, this is Garaxu coming to you with another episode of Minecraft Quick Build Challenge Rebound. This is going f more smoother every single time that I do this. So, I'm just going to say, shoot, like last time. So, people are going to shoot, well, basically, Fact is going to shoot because I said Fact was going to have to shoot. Or, oh, no, I, uh, uh, he's four. He's first. Okay. Fact, by the way, my brother, as I said last time. Okay. Light. That's very, very broad, so people can do a lot of things. Alright, so Jason, Jason, tell them. Tell them which block they have to incorporate. <laughs> a hopper, that's an interesting one. <laughs> that's a very interesting one. Um, if I were going to uh, be in the episode, then I would make lantern poles out of it, actually. Uh, but, well, that's my first thought, at least, to make lantern poles. I don't know. So, um, this is the moment where I give them all some time to think and also tell you about who is who. So, Psycho the Psycho is someone that I met on a certain server, which I may or may not disclose. I don't really know the name out of my head, so I can't disclose it right now in voice, so perhaps in editing. Vectilian then, is my brother with the nice green skin. He's in vote 2. And then over in vote 3, we have AJ Rainbows in, in number 3. And Rikita. So that's completely new contestants. Um, I hope that they are almost ready with their ideas. Ideas ready? Tell me yes, everyone. Tell me yes. Well, even if you're not going to say yes, you're going to have to do some th some stuff soon, so I don't understand. Okay. The, the theme is light. Interpret it as you wish. Plus incorporate a hopper at least. Better if you make it a significant but Top commentary here at Kiraksu. Top commentary. <laughs> but yeah, okay, he gets it, so... I'm a start of a timer. They best be ready, because, you know... There they go. So, Victilian is already making something green. Um, I think he's also going for an organic, which is nice. Um, and he's placing blocks like a madman, which is exactly what you want to do when you're in quick build. Psycho Psycho also not doing too shabby, but it was in stone instead. Uh, over here we're making a canvas or something. Maybe he's going for a wall, which is going to light fit really nice, which is also, you know, a quite... F f f f I do not know English. <clears throat> and English also doesn't know me. He's making a very nice wall, I guess. So the winner of last week was Synth Derp with the arcane build of arcane magical powers. I really don't have to go into it much further than that, don't I? <laughs> vote for, obviously. Obviously, Ricky Tar. I mean, it's... They, ha they have to vote for you. Okay, so... The changes around the arena have slowed down a little bit, not too much, I mean, some things have still changed, but, you know, I mean, like, for example, uh, this bit by Berminator, right? Yep, I will return, the Berminator is back. I mean, I didn't know you were gone, Berminator, but apparently you were. So, yeah, he's um, back, question mark. Also, there's a... <laughs> so they made a machine that especially would just launch random shit when I was close or when stuff got into here. Yup, that's... Whenever a random thing gets chosen, right? Whenever it's a hopper? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's a nice thing, but um, yeah, I'm going to shut it off now because, you know, sound pollution and everything. You know, the neighbors, they, they have to be them in a silent environment for them to work, or I don't know, my commentary is very bad this time. Ooh, actually, things have changed quite a lot here. So we have a bridge to this side of the mountain, which leads to nowhere, actually. I mean, it's it's a nice bridge, but that's where it ends. Um, so there's a balloon in the middle, right? Yep, yep. Okay, I'm falling off, so that's nice too. Da -da -da. I, I can't walk bridges. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's just an extension from the thing that we saw last week. 
Uh, then I believe before the episode, yep, I saw this made by my brother. This is the flag of Belgium, which is, of course, the country that me and my brother live in. I mean, we don't live in different countries, me and my brother. I mean, it's a possibility, I guess, but no, we, we don't, we don't. So we go inside. Okay, you had to be fancy with a with a door that uses this. Oh, I actually made it so it works both sides, nice. Um... That's that's some quality redstone right there. It doesn't. It's not really that. I mean, it, it's quality redstone, I guess, but um, it's not groundbreakingly new. Oh my god, what is it? Okay, we've we've seen all of this except. Okay, he he's got nice lights. So, that's very good of you. In fact, very good. You made a functional house. I am proud of you. Now also do well on the quick build, and I'll be even more proud of you. Okay, over here. Da -da -da. Is there anything on this side, actually? Might be. Yeah, a bit of a um, overlooking point. I mean, I guess you, could, you guys you should totally just ma make a stairway over here. Because, you know, I mean, it's a stairway and then people can access this more. It's, it just makes sense. It just makes sense, okay? Um, actually, in here, there is a little dome of observation and goodness. Um, I don't know if I actually showed this in the past, but apparently I, I, I do now. So... If I did, my excuses. If I did not, well, look, here's the observational dome, which, I mean, you can't really see outside too well, but that's because this is Minecraft. I believe there's also some fish, um, organics in the water, but again, you can't see them very well because of Minecraft water. Yay! Okay, so back to the arena for a little bit to see what they have made. Okay, Psyche to Psyche, you made a giant ball of light. I mean, I guess it is incorporating the light theme, but I do not see your hopper yet, so I look forward to um, to see what you're going to try to do with that. Probably something that flickers, right? Like actual redstone -y stuff, like over there. Yeah, probably. So Vect, you are making a serpentine creature, at, I think. Um, I think this is supposed to be a, a dragon to be, uh, at least soon. It's it's at least. It's a snake with with two extensions. <laughs> a snake with extensions. Now I'm just imagining the Pokemon Milotic. Over here, of course, we have a lantern pole, as I said in the beginning. A little bit different than, of course, I would make it. And that's the beauty of these, these very broad themes, is that if I say light, nobody's going to make light the same way, right? I mean, they're kind of similar, that one, this one, but this one is, well, I'm, I'm sorry, Psycho. I'm really sorry, but I think this one looks a bit nicer so far so over here then vote for still is, is uh, yeah okay you you're making a beacon it's it's not the most new and renovating thing but i guess sure so we have to vote for which is lit but like why don't you make it flicker or something that would be like a use for these hoppers there we go look that that's how you make a hopper thingy that, that functions. Not not dropping multiple things in there, right? I don't know who Ed is, but apparently I just typed his name. So, Jason, let let's address you a bit. I mean, you do look like you lost some weight <laughs> with the entire hopper thing. I mean, you you don't have to stare at me like, what what are you saying? I mean, my tongue, Jason. My tongue. It's just. It's just tight. Do, do you know that? Well, you, you can't know that probably. You still don't have a tongue. You can't speak. Um, we really have to fix that someday, don't we? I mean, you can only stare into my soul for now. So, actually, is there something? No, nothing. Nothing inside of you right now. I mean, um, the heading feature uh, is still probably in your default state, I believe. I mean, I can't check because then these guys' builds will just disappear and that will not be pleasant for them. I mean, I can always just start the recording again, but that also won't be pleasant for me. So I just won't do it. Um, now he's making uh, an arrow, a light thingy, a, a sword. Is it a light sword, so to speak, or something? I don't know. Probably some pixel light. Then over here, yeah, Psycho, I guess you used the hopper a bit better. But I still think that one wins over yours. 
I, I, I just I just do. But sure, we'll see. I mean, he was talking at the beginning of the episode, well, not at the beginning of the episode, but just before the episode, that he had an idea that just the arena was too small for it. And I've actually heard that complaint by multiple people that the arenas are too small. But if you actually join and try to build in here, I mean, the chance that you're really going to fill your entire area within the amount of time and really have the time to make much more than that kind of small except if you build really really fast but not detailed at all or trying to make something really neat then you're just going for scale and just scale is not really the objective here i mean i guess you can build a bit outside the arena that's also something that they were talking about because psycho has never been on quick build never seen a quick build well, not now, I guess he has. Uh, but yeah, he was completely strange to the concept because, you know, I just encountered him at that um, before mentioned server that I don't know the name of exactly. It's something with pro, I believe. But don't quote me on that because I just don't know. My editing will have to make up for it. And otherwise, you'll just not know either. So with one minute left, we'll actually take a look at the Storyteller Shack. New Stories Weekly. Oh, there's actually... Oh, there's a... There's a bear. Story Bear. Okay, Summoning Flames by Derp and G. So, that's the same Derp person, I believe, as one. Flames from around, you know, here in passion. <laughs> okay, is limping to twist, warp, tentacles begin to appear and constrict the forming muscles. This is quite a thing. Give a being unseen on this earth for centuries. Uh, this is this is some... Um, what's, it, what's his name? Um... RP Lovecraft, uh, Lovecraftian stories, uh, a Lovecraftian horror story, I guess. I really have to work on my pronunciation and also on the excitedness of my voice. Uh, my voice, not my voice, my tongue, because it just wants to do a lot of things too fast. That's also new. I mean, I've seen this off camera. It's just a big facility with a, like a laser projectile type thing. Actually, this is not new, is it? It's the old Kira Shrine, I think. No, it's not. Anyway, the time is up, so I mean, there, there's a facility there, there's a lot of things around the arena and I can't really go into them too much. I mean, I just will look at them from time to time, but you know, this takes precedence. So I'm, I'm thinking of um, changing it up a bit, but it doesn't matter. So, vote one, tell us your thing, which of course is Psycho de Psycho. He's, he's probably not typing because he's flying. Now he might be typing. He should be typing, Psycho. Also, airplanes, shut up. I don't know if you can hear the airplanes, uh, because I'm just recording this and most of the background noise gets cancelled out, but these airplanes are quite loud, so there is the chance that you're hearing them in the background, in which case, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to get them out. So if Psycho is not going to be able to type us, type faster, or I go away. I just made a lamp in another, which is pretty bright itself, with a good size lamp on top. Okay, vote two then. So this is Psycho to Psycho, also known as a vote a one in the comments. I also brought back the um, imagery. My build is a dragon with the powers of light. His horn ejects light when he when he has too much generator. Okay, so this is a dragon. It generates light. It, I mean, I guess it's a little bit rainbowy. So on that bit, I completely agree. Looks nice. So, also not uh, at all biased because he is my brother. Rainbows, tell us. Also, no. As vote three. I mean, it's a lantern thingy, so it. it oh, actually, I haven't really used iron bars this way. I mean, uh, the last time that I was playing Minecraft, they were just like big crosses still. But that actually looks really nice as a bit of wire. Uh, it's going for more town center thing, lamp in the center of town. Yep, that's exactly what I would have done too, albeit a different design, as I already said in the rest of the episode. So that's very nice. That's vote three for AJ Rainbow's lantern in the middle of the city. Then vote four. Tell us. I mean, you have a beacon, you have. A cage, apparently. Apparently, cage is needed. We also have to vote for. Light is a feather. Ah, it's a feather! <laughs> Probably every one of you saw that and went like, Kirexu, it's, it's like... It's like right here. It's a feather. 
The resemblance is really uncanny. You should have seen this. But now it's like, is, is this a sword? I mean, if I ever have to get in, a, in an arena and I take a feather and think it's a sword, that's just an instant win for my opponent. So that's a vote for, for Rekitar. That, with that said, that is the episode for this week. I will see you again next week. If you would like to be in one of the episodes, do join the Discord link in the server down below. I think I've said everything. If I haven't, I've probably edited it in. If I haven't, well, that's my fault. And you'll see the week after this. Goodbye.